according to the recent announcement of the Hellenic National Defense General Staff, from Tuesday 10 to Thursday May 12, 2022, the Chief of General Staff General Konstantinos Floros paid an official visit to the UAE, at the invitation of the Chief of Staff of the UAE Armed Forces Lt. Gen. Hamad Mohamed Thani al rumaythi On Wednesday, May 11, following the official reception of the Chief of General Staff at the UAE General Staff, in his one-on-one -on -one meeting with Lt. Gen. Hamad Mohamed Thani al rumaythi in the ensuing talks, they referred to the excellent relationship between the two countries, which was reaffirmed with the recent signing of the Greek UAE Military Cooperation Program for the year 2022, as well as in the framework of the Bilateral Broad Strategic Partnership Agreement signed at a high governmental level in November 2020. They also discussed issues of mutual interest, with an emphasis on the current security challenges facing the two countries, regional and international developments following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, as well as the new conditions in the international environment. During their meeting, which was the fifth in the last two years, the Chief of Hellenic National Defense General Staff additionally referred to the revisionism and provocative behavior of Turkey towards Greece, which undermines the stability in the eastern Mediterranean region and further burdens the general security situation. At the bilateral level, the two focused on the possibilities of further developing the special relationship between the two countries, either by conducting joint trainings or by participating in joint bilateral and multilateral exercises, both to enhance their operational capabilities and interoperability, as well as and in support of the role of Greece and the UAE as pillars of security and stability in the Eastern Mediterranean and the Middle East, in accordance with the rules of international law and the principles of good neighborliness. In particular, in the context of the further deepening of their military cooperation, reference was made to the provision of facilities by the armed forces of Greece to their respective UAEs for the construction of personnel accommodation infrastructure at the Camp Epilarku Miletus in Avlona, as well as in the plan that will follow for the examination within 2022 of the possibility of additional mutual military cooperation. The chief of HNDGS then went to the Tawazan Industrial Park in Zod Military City, where he met with the Mr. Tariq Abdul Rahim Al Hosani and CEO of the Tawazan Economic Council. Greece appears to want to increase military cooperation with the UAE as Konstantinos Floros was briefed on the potential of the UAE's thriving defense industry in the fields of UAVs, loitering munitions, combat vehicles, amphibious vehicles, and patrol boats, ammunition, portable armament. He then met with the commander of the UAE Land Forces, Lt. Gen. Said al-Shihi, at the Land Forces headquarters, with whom they had the opportunity to discuss issues of mutual interest, organization and doctrine of structure and administration, as well as prospects for deepening cooperation between the two countries, in view of his upcoming official visit to Athens. Chief of General Staff laid a wreath at the Wahat al karama Monument, which is dedicated to the fallen heroes of the UAE Armed Forces. At the monument, which covers an area of 46,000 square meters, he was welcomed and guided by Sheikh Khalifa bin Tanun bin Mohammed al Nayan, Executive Director of the Court of the Crown Prince for Families of Fallen Heroes, while he also had the opportunity to sign his guestbook as the announcement of Hellenic National Defense General Staff informs. We are currently a small channel, but with your help, we can develop much faster. Please consider liking our video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and tapping the bell to be notified of new uploads.